Many people in the African American community have taken to Twitter to insult Gabby Douglas's hair. And people are literally tweeting about her pulled back ponytail. Wore a wig to work every day because he was not allowed to wear dreadlocks. You do what you can to try to fit in. That style is stuck in the 60s, anti-establishment look, and it scares people. If Michelle Obama had natural hair. And that is why black hair is political. When I was maybe like 10, we started like getting perms. That was the goal, was to get the hair that could swing. Like literally my first memory is, I think I was seven and I just was bald. The late 1990s, you had black women stopping with the relaxers, but it wasn't called any kind of movement because they were doing it in isolation. 2005, when YouTube was invented, revolution broke out. Clients come to us. We're in France, right? Um, je voudrais un tapet cat. <laughs> the reference now are through YouTube and the YouTubers. It's all throughout the world. Having locks freed me. A lot of my early socialization came um, with white kids. So I remember um, the attractive girls always being the white girls. At one point, there was a lot of discussion in my family about whether or not I should straighten my hair so that I would attract more men. When I dreamt about having children, I wanted to be sure that uh, she would grow in a world where she wouldn't have to fight like we for, for our hair, for our identity. I wish my parents had said that I have beautiful hair. Black people and all people, but black people in particular, not only have a right to be authentic, it is a requirement.